ladies and gentlemen, this is Ballet Rain. So recently we released a video where we were talking about some of the most famous and legendary ballerinas gracing this earth today. And in the comment section of that video, we got so many people saying, please give us a version for male dancers. Please tell us your favorite dancers. Please, we need to see you fangirl over some dancers. Uh, if we, you insist. If you insist. If we must. Anything for y'all. So that's what we're doing today. We're going to give you guys your starting point, your dance store starter pack. Yeah. Three of the most famous, plus two of our personal faves, but those two are bonuses and you don't know they're there yet, so shh. Just like the other video that we did on famous ballerinas, this is just your starter pack, your launching pad into the rabbit hole of the abyss. <laughs> the abyss of dancer appreciation. Let me say, it was so hard to only pick five. It was near impossible. It was so hard to just pick five. Yeah, because there are so many incredible dancers out there. But yeah. in the end, we narrowed it down. Barely, barely narrowed it down. Yeah. So if you guys are ready to fangirl with us over mm -hmm. these amazing dancers, hit the like button and we will hop into the video. First one on the list today, we have the one, the only, the amazing, stupendous Roberto Bollet. Need we say more? I think in general, Roberto, he's kind of universally acknowledged as like the biggest male ballet star in the world right now. He really is. He's he's dominating the ballet world. Yeah. Like, pretty much every company is like, please guest with us. Yeah, please please be part of us. <laughs> yeah. Not only that, but he has his own sort of company, I guess, Roberto yeah. Bollet and Friends. And he's doing a lot of stuff um, all over the world. Yeah, a and, lot of performances. Yeah, and, and it's really, really amazing. So yeah, this guy has just done it all. He's danced with some of the most iconic ballerinas. If you yeah. watched our, our top three plus two ballerinas video. Mm -hmm. You'll be familiar with Svetlana Zakharova. And actually her and Roberto were one of uh, the best leading partnerships in probably the whole world ever. Did a lot of amazing performances together. And honestly, since they're both kind of in like the most legendary tier, it just it makes, it just, it just <laughs> makes sense. It makes so, sense. Um, yeah, but Roberto, world renowned. Yeah. I feel like, I guess he's the epitome of the dance store. Like whenever yeah. anybody thinks of just Everything that the dancer represents, it would be Roberto Bollet. He has like, like a very princely demeanor, you know? Yeah, As he he just... has such a poise to him. His stage presence is just, it's so Immaculate. poised and so regal. It's its really beautiful to watch. And like, technically, we have to talk about technique because that's what yeah. this channel is about. Yeah. <laughs> but technically, one of the most solid dancers mm -hmm. Period. So clean, so exact, and it's yeah. just, I think it just comes with his experience. I mean, he's been dancing from such a young age too, and he's mm -hmm. been through so many companies, done all sorts of different kinds of repertoire. Super, super technically sound. Yeah. His turns are always perfect. Jumps, flexibility, strength, everything, yeah. absolutely immaculate. Yeah. And his partnering is absolutely partnering. sublime. Yeah, we'll highlight his partnering because I think yeah. that's, it's very easy to have moments during a pas de deux where you're kind of struggling a little bit, especially yeah. because ballet is live art. It's different every time. So maybe yeah. the ballerina is slightly off her leg. I get, and then exactly. you, you can sometimes, if you're really watching, you can pick up a few of those like small adjustments. A little fumbled and things. But with Roberto, you never ever see those. Never. He's never. so confident. You never notice that they're working exactly. to, make, to make a pas de deux. It's so effortless. It's so mm -hmm. seamless. It's like second nature. He's so used to it and yeah. so accustomed to it. It mm -hmm. literally looks like he's not even thinking about yeah. it. Yeah. You never see that moment where it's like, huh, before you lift. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's just... Yeah, just here goes. we go. Yeah, <laughs> it's it's truly next level. It really is. So we kind of started this trend with the previous video with the ballerinas. We have to sum up the dancer and their dancing style in one word. So oh. go for it, Eden. <laughs> Probably majestic. Yeah, I think that's the best way I can describe it. He's just the most celebrated danseur on the earth right now, mm -hmm. and. He really carries himself that yeah, way. Yeah, he carries himself that way every every single role, yeah. every step. It's always like he just owns it. Our second dancer that we want to talk about today is, of course, Vadim Montagirov. I am so sorry. <laughs> he is currently a principal dancer with the Royal Ballet, mm -hmm. and I think he's one of their main guys. Oh now. yeah, he's one of their yeah, main. He's like one of their main dancer. guys now. Absolutely, yeah. he is an exquisite dancer. I'm, Absolutely exquisite. I think the thing that sticks out to me the most is just how effortless he makes everything. Yeah. Work. Everything he does gives the appearance of, no, this isn't hard for me. Yeah. Oh, you want me to jump over your head? Oh, yeah, maybe that's about, that's about 
fifty percent of my highest jump. Yeah. Oh, twelve pirouettes! Oh, that's about half of my total amount that I can do. It just comes from the fact that he never looks like he's straining. Yeah. You never see the anticipation before a big step or mm -hmm. a big turn or a big jump. It just looks very easy. He looks very at ease, very much at peace, and yeah. it makes you feel at peace watching him. And also in awe because yeah, because <laughs> the kinds of things that he can do is really incredible. And I think. That stillness is owing really to his porta bra and yeah. his posture and the way he carries himself. The way, yeah, the way he carries himself because his porta bra is so still, so mm -hmm. pristine and so quiet. A lot of times before a pirouette, you're gonna like <laughs> have yeah. that like <laughs> moment. Yeah, but there's never that. It's always just. And he'll like turn out, you know, six pirouettes. He too has danced with some of the most notable ballerinas in the world, including Marinella Nunez. Yes, he is um, her. Her. Her main, partner, her main partner, I think, as well, and and Lauren Cuthbertson. Yeah, you'll know her from La Grande Pater de if yes. you watch that video, we'll linked above and below. But he stands as amazing, amazing ballerinas, and honestly, very, very well matched mm -hmm. with all of them. I like his artistry, and I like the way he portrays characters. He seems like a very sincere, very genuine yes. person. Whenever he portrays a character, it always comes from a very thoughtful and very authentic sort of way mm -hmm. and For sure. it's never overdone or too theatrical it looks yeah. very realistic mm -hmm. and i think that's really special about his dancing maybe that's why he's paired with marinella so often yeah, that's because true. they have a very similar um acting acting style, style yeah. in the sense that it's very authentic and not overdone in the theatrical mm -hmm. yeah it comes aspect. right from their own experience exactly right from their own art. Vadim, beautiful dancer and yeah. very solid partner as well. Absolutely. Very yeah. capable. But he never looks like he's struggling or yeah, straining exactly. or anything. Just but you know it's not easy. Because the kind of stuff he's doing is not it's easy. It's not easy, but <laughs> it just looks like he's, it's yeah. just so normal. It's like breathing to him. Yeah, it's like as easy as breathing. I guess effortless is his word. Honestly, that's kind of just how you would sum up his dancing style. It looks like he's just walking down the street, except he's doing cabrioles and double the whole way. And, <laughs> you know, 540s and, yeah. you know, seven pirouettes. Yeah, and landing with a triple tour to the knee and being yeah. like, easy peasy, yeah. a little squeezy. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely recommend watching him. He is yes. absolutely astounding. There so. are some amazing video recordings of Vadim out there. So yeah. Go check him yeah. out. The thirdly. Next. Thirdly. Definitely not least, but thirdly. Thirdly. They're all up here. Yeah. Okay. Another famous dancer we want to talk to y'all about today is... Hold on, we're about to butcher his name. Leonid Le Serafanov. Leonid, Leonid Serafanov. Pardon us, we'll put it here. <laughs> Fantastic dancer. He's currently a principal with the Mikhailovsky Ballet, but he was a principal with the Marinsky Ballet before then. Yes. I think the thing that sticks out to me the most is just his ability to do all the trick steps. Yeah. Like he's a very <laughs> ambitious and very daring dancer, I yeah. guess you could say. All of the tricks are to the next level. Like, mm -hmm. you know, there's the regular choreography, and then there's like, Serafinov choreography. <laughs> version, yeah. And yeah. he always goes above and beyond. Yeah. At the end of the variation, there's usually a sequence of tours or turns yeah. or something. He'll just yeah. knock it out of the park yeah. every single time. He'll be like, oh, I'm supposed to do a pirouette and then close fifth before my double tour? No, no, no. I'll just... From the pirouette, I'll just fondue there. Do the double tour off of one leg. Off of one leg. And yeah. then just... Yeah, no problem. Like, no problem. <laughs> I, I, I only need one leg to do yeah. that. It's, it's like, so otherworldly. Yeah. It, the way he makes it happen, I don't know. But it just it's just, just mind-blowing. I will also say that he has beautiful, beautiful split jumps. So like Soda Shaw. Yeah. Or like, I guess it's called Jeté Cloche. But the one yeah. where they switch their leg midway yeah. through. Yeah. Coupe Jeté Manege. Uh-huh. Immaculate. He has yeah. a really nice arabesque line. His lines in general, yeah. I think, are very, very, very good. He also partnered with some very famous ballerinas. Yes. You all know um, Alicia Novakova, who I believe is his wife now. And also Natalia Osipova, who we talked about in our famous ballerina video. They've also danced together a couple of occasions, yeah. and they're absolutely phenomenal together because, again, just the amount, the of, amount the of power. power. Like, passionate, yeah. daring dancers. And oh my gosh, just constantly... Yeah. They, pushing the limits and yeah. they just matched so well. Yeah. Kind of funny, I didn't realize before filming this video that all the male dancers that we're talking about today kind of match up with like the female, the female that we talked about in the other video. That is way too um, you know, coincidental. Legends go with legends. So yeah. Yeah. I guess it fits, right? It, it just works, right? It, it does work. I will say what I love about watching 
Serafinov is that trademark Serafinov flair. Oh my goodness. Okay, Need yeah. I say more? Like, yeah. you all know what I'm talking about. <laughs> if you watch it, like, he just has this particular flair, like a yeah. brilliance and attack to every yeah. step. And it's just very exciting to watch. It and is. it makes you just absolutely absorbed in whatever he's doing. Oh my god, my tea! Wow, Eden. Did you just leave it outside the frame this whole time? Yeah. I'm sorry. It's here. I do have it. Serafinov in one word. Virtuoso. Virtuoso. Yeah. I couldn't agree sure. more. Very, very good. If you're talking tricks. And like just showstopper kind of yeah. energy. Just like the stuff that kind of makes your soul leave you for a yeah, little like, bit. Whoa, like, hold up a whoa. second. Whoa. Yeah. Makes you question the what's, laws what's of gravity. The laws of physics and everything. <laughs> yeah. yeah, makes yeah. you question. That, that would be Serafinov. Absolutely. Bonus dancers, we have two bonuses for you that are kind of our personal favorites yeah. to watch. Yes, they're not any less. No, they're just definitely. the same level as the other dancers, yes. but we kept them for bonus because they're our favorites. We're gonna start off with Marcelino Sambe, <laughs> who is a principal with the Royal Ballet in London. And okay, he is just fabulous. Fabulous. I don't know how else to say. He is such a powerful dancer. His ballon. Off the charts. He flies, he soars, he leaves gravity. It's just... And the thing is, his landing never looked jarring. Yeah, exactly. And I think that's really what stands out to me about his ballon in particular. Because all male dancers have ballon. Yeah. It's just the way he, he comes down with so much control. And mm -hmm. like, it's not difficult. Yeah. yeah, if you're looking to increase your ballon, just watch Marcelino Sambe. The ballon will absorb into you. <laughs> yeah. I love watching Marcelino dance because he just kind of embodies that whole concept of modern day ballet, mm -hmm. of just yeah. continuing the lines, making everything look longer, and extending yeah. things further than they were before, and he is a true master of this concept, mm -hmm. and I think that it really adds a very polished finish to his dancing. Yeah. It's something that's so subtle, but it's so, so special at the it same is. time. It's really and special. you really do notice it. Even mm -hmm. though it's a small thing, you notice it. And it really brings a lot more feeling and more passion into the whole piece. Yeah, it's incredible because he has such an athleticism and like a power yes. to his dancing. But at the same time, he uses that power and that just strength that he has mm -hmm. to just completely like 100% emote. Yeah, hundred percent of the time. Like if you're talking expression and just artistry, I feel like he's one of the most expressive and like emotional performers. Yeah, in the world in terms sure. of male dancers, well, especially yeah. in relation to dancing with another person. Yeah, so when he's partnering, I don't know. It's just nice to see that power and that strength that he has, and then channeled into such gentleness yeah. towards his partner. Yeah, and it's so sweet to see that. Yeah, he's very 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 sensitive partner. He mm -hmm. seems to really understand whoever he's dancing with. He has a very good connection with all of his partners. Marcelino in one word, go. Uh, <laughs> I think I'll go with boundless. Yeah. In the sense of just that length and also the emotion. There's no end to it. Boundless is a good one. Yeah. Yeah. We have another personal favorite with us today. Personal favorite. Oh, is a principal with the Marinsky Ballet. Kim and Kim! Kim and Kim! <laughs> Kim and Kim. The first thing that comes to mind, musicality. He is so oh rhythmic, God. so articulate, and always on time. Yeah. And I love that. You can tell he really goes home and like thinks about yeah. the room, thinks about his steps. It's Everything is so perfectly integrated into mm -hmm. the music. He's mastered musicality in the sense that he always knows he knows when to take off in proportion mm -hmm. to when he needs to land. Yeah. And just, I guess, getting familiar with your body yeah. and how much time it takes for you to take off, yeah. do whatever you need to do, and then come down. And then being able to make that calculation in like a microsecond mm -hmm. and execute it. Yeah. It's, it's really something else. Ballon, if you've ever seen his Ali variation from La Corsair, Ah, so good. <laughs> so good. So good. He, he almost ruined that variation for me in the sense that I can't watch any other danseur do the Ali variation uh. without thinking Kim and Kim did it better. Yeah, exactly. I love just the amount of passion and love he has for dance. Yeah. It just, you can feel it from the furthest balcony that yeah. this man loves to dance mm -hmm. and he loves what he does. You can tell he's put the deepest thought and care into each step. You know, he really thought it through. This goes exactly with this part of the music. Exactly. And I will draw this out longer. Yeah. And I will keep this concise and yeah. make this quick and make mm -hmm. this sharp and make this like, elongated. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And I will flick my hair this way. Yeah, the hair flip! <laughs> the hair flip! 
but you can tell he's very perfectionistic about the yeah. way he performs I and the way so. he approaches a role in a character. Yeah, I really appreciate that. I love seeing the fruits of like analysis and deep understanding yeah. on the stage because it reads in a different way. I always feel like he carries himself very, very well. He carries himself like he is a royal. When he's partnering, exactly. he treats her like royalty as well. Mm-hmm. And that's, it makes you feel like you're watching something very special. There's definitely a respect there, which is really, really important for any partnership. Yeah. Having respect between both people, that's going to bring the partnering to a next level. Because when you respect each other, then it reads on the stage. This one reads on the stage. Yeah, it It totally really does. It does. It's really just the epitome of the classical ballet thing. Mm. Respect is everything. And poise. And class, I guess. Yeah, (laughs) class. But yeah, Kim and Kim. Fabulous. Our personal favorite. One more word for Kim and Kim. What's it gonna be, Eden? Perfection. No kidding. Perfection's elusive. Masterful. Yeah. Because it's immaculate. Thought through, analyzed, understood. Yeah. Masterful. And I agree. <laughs> I agree with my own statement. You agree with your own <laughs> statement. <laughs> uh, I was gonna say, like, you agree with what? <laughs> I agree. I agree with myself. Okay, so that was our list of the top three plus two of the world's most famed and celebrated male dancers of today. Today we talked about the most famous dancers, but there are a ton of dancers out there that may not have all the publicity, but are equally fabulous in their own way. Exactly. And so don't just stop here, like we said in the intro, don't just stop here. Branch out, find more amazing talent out there. We hope we could help you guys to really appreciate the dancers that are behind the ballerina that really make everything happen. I feel like the dancers, they have a much bigger role than we give them credit for. Absolutely. Because it takes a very special person to be a dancer because you train just as hard as the ballerina. If not more. If not more. But then you spend most of your career being known for the person in the back behind the ballerina lifting her. Yeah. You know, so it takes that humble kind of person. Exactly. Uh, It takes a certain humility Mm -hmm. and, you know, a certain dignity Mm -hmm. to be able to support somebody else. Yeah. Instead of just, you know, fighting for your own spotlight. While still being able to hold your own as a dancer and an artist. (laughs) Yeah, of course. So, dancers around the world, we see you. You are known. You are loved. Thank you for doing what you do. Everything that you do does not go unnoticed. Yeah. And we as ballerinas really, really appreciate you. So, from the bottom of our hearts, to you guys, thank you. If you like the video, like the video. And if you really, no, please share this video <laughs> with your ballet nerds around the world because we actually need more dancer appreciation Yes. in the ballet scheme. And if you would like to be updated with more content from us, then you can subscribe and hit the bell because we would love to have you here again. This was fun. And I think that is all from us for now. This is Ballet Rain signing off. Until the next video. Bye. He is yes. currently with um, Mikhailovsky. 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 Mikhailovsky.